Doctor, there are many different forms of arthritis, and you've already talked about medications. There are many different kinds. What are some natural treatments? And we'll just start with, with that, I guess. Well, there's a four-step program I recommend for treating arthritis naturally. To put it in perspective, again, the arthritis medications like NSAIDs, mm -hmm. double to triple heart attack risk, 16,500 deaths a year from bleeding ulcers, $4 billion to buy them, $4 billion more to treat the hospitalizations from them. Crazy. Alternatives. Number one, four-part program, feed your joints. A good multivitamin will make a big difference. Uh, I like vitamin powders, like the energy revitalization system. In addition, glucosamine sulfate, not chloride, sulfate, okay. 750 milligrams twice a day. Uh, chondroitin, 400 milligrams twice a day. And, and MSM, about mm -hmm. 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams a day. Uh, the key one for that would be the glu glucosamine, but the other ones can be added in just for three months. You're, mm -hmm. This is you're giving a spa treatment to your joints to heal them. And what do those those supplements do? The vitamin powder gives multiple nutrients needed for healing, but also a lot of the arthritis pain comes from tight muscles around the joint. Okay. And the magnesium and the B vitamins relax those muscles and help the pain to okay. go away. Um, another nice way to get the magnesium into your body, if you have pain from joint arthritis. Take a hot bath with Epsom salts. Take two cups of Epsom salts, mm. which is magnesium, throw it in a tub of hot water, soak in it for 12 to 20 minutes, and you'll be amazed at how the pain tends to decrease. So all of these come under the feed or joints. Uh, glucosamine and chondroitin, these are the materials that the joint needs to actually grow and heal. That's what joint is made of. Okay. Uh, MSM give the sulfur amino acids. Those are the protein building blocks needed for joint healing. So okay. any or all of those can be okay. very helpful, and that's step one. Okay. Step two, um, interesting, they are uh, using the herbal remedies as anti-inflammatories. For regular day-to-day -day wear and tear arthritis, um, the best ones out there, there's two wonderful ones. One would be called Healthy Knees and Joints. That one's by Europharma. Uh, in a double-blind study which just compared it to Celebrex, it beat the pants off the medication. <laughs> it was way more effective. It's a mix of a very highly absorbed curcumin uh, combined with a special boswellia. So you take that, uh, very, very good for arthritis. Another wonderful herbal mix would be willow bark boswellia and cherry, also way more effective than the arthritis medicines. Uh, that's marketed under the name End Pain. That would be an enzymatic therapy product. Um, either of those two are both together. I use uh, higher doses, um, two tablets three times a day, uh, even one three times a day is plenty for most people. I do that for the six weeks. Give, it si give these things six weeks to work, give them three months to really seal in the benefit, mm -hmm. and then you can lower the dose or stop most of these, mm -hmm. or okay. just take them as needed. Here's a little tip that most people don't know with arthritis, including the doctor. Arthritis pain is like a fire. Once you put out the fire, it will stay gone. Once you turn off the pain, whether you're looking at arthritis medicines or glucosamine chondroitin, the studies show that after three months, um, the pain tends to stay gone without it. The placebo is just as effective as the, as the medications and the other because you've turned off the pain. And then these things can be used intermittently when needed. Okay. Um, for rheumatoid arthritis, which is a red inflamed joints, mm -hmm. we'll add in two other things. Those would be fish oil. And I like the Vectomega form, so you're taking one a day instead of 16. Um, and uh, I know it's a holistic um, video here, but I'm going to say antibiotics. Doxycycline for rheumatoid arthritis hmm. is very effective. It's as effective as other DMARDS, these other medications that cost 15 to 20,000 a year, but they're dirt cheap. So even though there's really good repeated research on it, your doctor is not going to hear about it. Mm -hmm. But for rheumatoid arthritis, that's severe enough, worth doing. So that's step two. Okay. Step three um, would be physical therapy measures. You notice I have a decreased range of motion. You don't use it, you lose it. Mm -hmm. That gets tight. So if you try to stretch it, it pulls back and it hurts. So what do you do? Well, you take a hot compress. They have these nice little bean bags you can get in the health food store. Mm -hmm. It's a microwave, hot water bottle, heating pad. You put it over the affected joint for about five, ten minutes. And you'll find then you can just go ahead and use the other hand to straighten out those joints mm. and get your range of motion back. Because with the heat on it, it won't hurt. It's like sure. melting the butter so that it, it can do that. And when you get the range of motion back, 
it's yours to keep, even once you take the heat off. Mm. Um, exercise and weight loss, these are two other things that will dramatically decrease arthritis pain, both the risk of getting arthritis mm -hmm. and the pain once you do have it. Sure. And then step four, and most people don't need step four, but if you have really severe persistent arthritis that so won't go away with other things, look at food allergies. Mm. And there's a simple food, uh, al um, an elimination diet that's a kinder, gentler one, not as difficult as most, that we have on our website, we have it in the Real Cause, Real Cure book or Pain Free One, Two, Three book. Um, we'll give you the information as well. Um, but for those cases where nothing seems to help, but a food allergy is a common culprit. Hmm. And I'll give a trick. You don't have to avoid the food forever. There is a special acupressure technique called NAET, uh, which is a non budrapat allergy elimination technique that can knock out a food allergy, one food allergy each day in 20 minutes. Wow. Uh, and it's funny because it's uh, many of the people know my policy. I don't take money from any supplement companies or from... Uh, any pharmaceutical companies. My royalties all go to charity, and that's why I can unabashedly <laughs> give thumbs up and thumbs down to thing. But the royalties still go to charity, and one of the things that it did was to fund a, fund a study using NAAT for autism. Oh. That study is scheduled to come out this month uh, in the IMCJ. 23 of the 30 autistic kids are back in regular school at the end of one year, as opposed to zero out of 30 in the untreated control group, using a simple, oh. uh, no medication, a special acupressure technique People can find more on that at www.naet.com. But for arthritis pain that persists, the NAET is a wonderful way to go after the food allergies. Wow.